Oh, what up, guys? This is the Fantastic Wayne here once again, bringing you another Photoshop CS5 tutorial. And this one today is with the um, Refine Edge tool. And what is really mainly, it's a new feature to add it on um, CS5. And um, what it does is just a major help. That's all I really can say. Um, as you see in this picture right here, see, it'd be like a real hassle just to take your time and mask all this out. Let me just show you like a quick little example. It's, it's just like I said, I ain't really gonna do nothing really too big. We're just gonna go through it. It will be a real hassle, like I said, right here, to actually get all these strands of hair and all this. I can't really do it, but see, that's impossible. What, but what this new feature lets you do is get let you get it way easier than what you expect. But as you can see right here, um, I'm gonna hide that. As you can see, this is the thing maxed out. With the refine edge tool, and let me, see, let me zoom in on it. Well, I won't let me zoom in, but yeah, um, as you can see, has all of this. See, you can see every single strand of her hair, and all that. Just gets everything. It's kind of crazy, and it only takes about two, three minutes. Probably not even that. But yeah, okay, not me. All right, now this is just, this is for the tutorial part. Um. Okay, this is what you want to do. You can take your lasso tool right here, and if you do not, if you don't see this, you can just um click on this and hold it, and then it's right here lasso tool, or you just press L and cycle through it like right here. Oh, well not cycle through, but who cares? And then um another tool you can use is um, quick selection. I will use my quick selection tool, but um it freezes up every time I use it, so I'm trying to use the lasso tool. But I, the quick selection is way quicker than this. And more precise, but this is what I'm going to do. As you just let y'all see, just going to go around her. And I'm not using a mouse, by the way. I'm kind of using a from a laptop, so kind of wonder. Excuse me, or not excuse me, but if I mess up, but I shouldn't. Oh, yep, I just messed up. Poop. Something just rough. All right. So you can now the marching ants comes up, though that's what they call them. <laughs> and then um, after you get that part done, you can go up here and say the refine edge, and you want to click refine edge. And then with me, I have mine set to um the black and white. If you want to do that, you can go from the marching ants, stuff like that. But it's real easier for you to um see stuff like this over that. On the black, um, on white, on black and white. But as you can see, right quick, I'm put on the black. I can put on the white. Put on the white. And then, if I put the mess with the radius, the radius. See, I, I still have really mess with the radius is, but you're gonna see um, it expand right there. See how they really expand it out. And then, but what you want to do is make sure you click smart radius though. And then now if I Really, when I watch you see a big old difference. See, I can't really, it's not really, you just see a big difference. Like, if you didn't see it, you should see it with your screen. But yeah, um, I'm going to put it about right here. And then what you want to do is get a nice, um, brush size. Nothing too big. Oh, and, um, I don't know why I didn't say this earlier, but, um, I will leave, um, a tutorial. I mean, um, a picture. I mean, I will leave this. I will upload this exact picture to FileFront, and then when I upload it to FileFront, I will. Um, and if you guys don't have no picture to do this, I will upload this picture so y'all can just go through it with me or something like that. But yeah. Um, so what you want to do is, well, actually, I'm putting on, on black and white now, so it's real easier to do on this part. So what you want to do is, you want to click. Like you want to click on, keep on clicking like close to the edge, but you don't want to. Um, click all in here that's that's not right you don't want to click in there so what you want to do is you want to keep on clicking outside this but try don't get all in her face and like that you just want to get right close to the edges don't go too far in but you're gonna start seeing a big difference when you get all up out here I'm just getting the parts I missed over here You see, I, I, you are going to see the mask or well, hair of a mask starting to come out. There we go. But 
But uh, I'm kind of rushing through it a little bit too. So, but yours should come out way more better than what mine's gonna come out like. Like I said, my my little breast thing is even flashing. I don't even know why that's happening. So like I said, man, my stuff be messing up. So I'm sick. I don't know why. This was too big or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, and uh, if you're wondering how I made my brush size that small like that, it's the little um the brackets next to the P on your keyboard. Um, the one that goes to the right it makes it uh, enlarges it, and then the one to the left um decreases the size of it, so makes it smaller. Let me go wash this little part quick. Just go one little big old stroke. And uh, I would might as well fix this somewhat. Okay, um, and then now you guys stuff should be masked out pretty good. Like I said, I rushed through it. If you hopefully you don't rush through it, but um, please take your time for the best um look. Then you want that after you get done with that. Then now you want um click de decontaminate colors. Then after you do that, um, you can do um, you can choose from where you want to go from the output. You can put on a new layer, a new layer with mask, new document, new document with layer mask. I'm gonna put on a new layer with mask. So I mean, if I really want to go back and edit it, I can go back and edit it and stuff like that. So yeah, okay. My mine gonna take some time. Like I said, my my Photoshop runs real slow for some reason. But um, on yours, it probably be done by this time. Probably be pretty fast. I don't know why I run so slow. Like I said, yours should run way faster. Oh wow! But um, I'm going to stop it here and then start it up again when it's done doing this. Oh, wrong thing. But yeah, I'm gonna stop right here. All right, I'm back. See now, see mine. See how I got these little bitty marks? That's what you don't want. Like I said, I rushed through it. That's what I got. You're supposed to really use a um a smaller brush. Like I said, though, you, you don't want to go like that far out. But yeah, that's what this is the um what you get. But like I said, yours should be way better than what mine is. Now I'm going to go in right quick. Like I said, you said hair, but hair got really messed up. And this really right here really messes with the radius, so you gotta make the radius a good size and stuff like that. It is just like that. Just work with it, and then you guys will get it. It's like I said, this is real easy. Nothing um too hard to do. Like I said, still miss some things. Well, yeah, miss some things. But yeah, um, I would redo it, but I don't. I don't think I have the time to. But like I said, um, I seen the first one I did it was way better, and then um. Like I said, it should be decent for y'all if y'all didn't rush through it and take your time with it. And then, um, that's it. That's another tutorial from the Fantastic Wayne Photoshop. And like I said, um, send in, um, tutorial ideas and stuff like that. And continue to subscribe. Box me, whatever. I'm trying to get known. LOL. But yeah, um, like I said, um, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. My next tutorial will be probably with, um, I forgot what it's called. Uh, I forgot the other one. Let me see what it's called. It's going to be with this right here. Um, actually, oh yeah, it's going to be with Content Aware. That one. Um, my next tutorial is going to be with Content Aware. You can literally remove people or objects from out of your picture. That's all I'm going to tell you all for right now. But like I said, that's my next tutorial. And until then, peace.